please like and subscribe. Hello, Collective. Welcome to your reading. Collective, this is a general spirit check-in, not a one-to-one -one spirit check-in. So you might not resonate with all of the reading. You might not resonate with any of the reading. Whatever you do resonate with, please take what you need and leave the rest behind. Collective, I could be picking up on your energy or on the energy of someone who's in your energy. So if it doesn't feel like I'm speaking about you, please switch the energies around. <clears throat> Collective, you're going to get some, uh, you're probably most likely going to get your own messages as you connect with the cards that I lay on the table here. Please do, please connect with the cards and please trust your own intuition. You know better than I am. I am just merely the messenger. I'm just, I'm just basically, I'm just the messenger. <clears throat> All right. Holy Spirit of the Most High, please bless this reading. Please bring in the knowledge and the wisdom of the Most High for this reading, for the collective. For everybody that comes into this reading. Thank you. Very interesting energy here. Where should I put this card? <clears throat> there we go. So someone, I don't get this as you, I get this as someone who is watching you. It's interesting. It was kind of the only place this bit on the table with the screen and everything where it is as I have it. And it's facing the whole reading. So this energy is definitely over uh, supporting the entire reading. <clears throat> so immediately what I got out of this, what I see out of this is somebody, somebody, somebody fucked up. They judged you wrong. You came out of a Ten of Swords. You are like, uh, like I say to you guys, a lot of you people, a lot of you viewers who come to my channel, you are medicine healers. You are some sort of healers, whether it's medicine healers or, you know, medicine healer is very, very, very broad. It can be, it can be, you can be a pharmacist, you could be a Reiki master, you could be reflexology, you could be a chiropractor, like, you know, you could be a doctor, a surgeon. Uh, oh my gosh, it's endless. It's endless how many, how many services in the medical field or in the healing arts that there are in the healing practices, healing arts and healing practices that there are. <sighs> But I just see this because you, okay, okay, this is, this is overall the entire reading, this card, this is overall you, okay? 
Okay, so in your past, you came down from a hanged man energy. You had put yourself into a hanged man energy trying to get clear about where you were going in your life, trying to get clear about where you're coming from, about what's happened, about what you're going to do about what's happened. Um, if anything, just getting clear about your life. feeling you were very very you had put yourself into this position because okay oh how do I say this <sighs> it's funny because the creator is showing me this in terms of the hobbit <laughs> and you are the hobbit and you are leaving the shire you put yourself into a hangman position because nobody around you was ready to go on this journey. Nobody around you is, is, is strong enough. You're not even, you know, Bilbo Baggins didn't even feel like he was um, qualified for this trip. He was just full of adventure. That was his biggest um, um, advantage is that he was so hungry for adventure in his life. <clears throat> and he'd lived happily in the Shire for his whole life. But the one thing he was longing for was for adventure. And that's what why he survived. It was because he, he lived outside the box when it came to adventure. So that's what I'm feeling is that... <clears throat> because... You had to put yourself into a hangman position because a situation that had really affected you, you know, whatever this judgment is, it is, it is overshadowing a Ten of Swords upright. You have come out of this Ten of Swords. That's why it's in, it's in reverse. This is when the underworld is supporting you. But whatever's happened here, there's a judgment in reverse. So what this tells me is that whoever is in your environment failed to see things as they are. <clears throat> this is either you or them. And I'm getting, I'm not getting that this was them because you put yourself into a hangman position. You came down from this hangman. This reading begins with you coming down from a hangman position going through a process that you have no choice but to go through alone because nobody else will do nobody else wants to <coughs> cover this ground within their own lives within their own selves they're happy to let you do it and because of this you do <coughs> you do do it because of what you are able to gather within yourself, meaning vitriol, the Ten of Swords, when it's when it is up like this, it is it is basically vitriol. In order for this not to crush you, you have to develop the spiritual legs and the psychic muscle to carry this. Otherwise, it'll crush you. It will, it will take something from you. So in your journey, <clears throat> you've been creating, you've been developing your psychic legs, your spiritual muscle, putting yourself in a hanged man position. Whatever's happened before this, I'm feeling like this hanged man position with whoever you're dealing with, I'm feeling like this is another scenario of countless scenarios with the same people. But this time it's different. This time it's different because you come through something and makes you very, very generous. 
you learn a lot about yourself coming through this uh, judgment in reverse. It's a disappointment because you realize that you're alone in this. I'm feeling like, <clears throat> oh, the irony, creator, the irony. Okay, the creator is showing me an image of, oh, I don't know how this makes me feel. I don't even know if I even want to say this. Oh. I may not even post this. I don't know if I'm even going to post this now. This is, this is intense. Oh, okay. I'm getting a layman, a, a layman, a layman person who didn't get a degree in psychology, who didn't get a degree in um, psychotherapy, is not a psychotherapist. They're not a counselor. They're not a clinician. They're just regular Bob or regular Sarah or regular and um, 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 I was, I was say Andrea, but regular Andrea, regular Bob, regular Sarah, regular Janet. You know, they're just, they're just, they're just normal. They're just the normal person. They don't have any degrees under them. But yet yeah, they're doing more work than the people around them. And the people around them are people that have degrees. These people don't want to do this work because of the degree they have. They are blinded by their own ego. They think that they are done this work. They think that they are done this work. <clears throat> and you're not, you're not going into these depths of Ten of Swords to, to develop the psychic muscle to carry these swords so that you can par parade around and tell everybody, look at me, look at me, I can carry these swords. Like, no. This is a process that you've had to do inwardly that nobody sees. When someone, when you get stabbed in the back, do people see that? It's an experience that happens on another dimension. It happens between you, you and whoever betrays you, or you are you, between you and whoever you betray. If you're the one that stabs somebody else in the back, the ramifications of the of those actions happen in a dimension between you. Nobody else is aware of it. No one else sees it, but the two of you feel it. Something's been violated. Trust has been broken. A boundary of trust and... <clears throat> yeah, a boundary of trust has been, has been not only violated, but broken. Not only a, a boundary of trust, but I'm seeing almost like a law someone's law of trust has been broken. Okay, so this, when you come out of this Ten of Swords, you will be incredibly uh, generous. A lot to share, a lot to give, a lot to offer. A lot of soul food. I'm hearing soul food or something. You'll have a lot to offer from yourself, from your experiences, physical. This may be money, but I'm feeling this is physical experiences, wisdom, based on your physical experiences, based on your life, based on your pain, your knowledge, your ups, your downs, your joys, your defeats, your sense of accomplishments, your victories and your defeats. <clears throat> and it brings you into a place of celebration with a lot of other people. You coming out of this Ten of Swords, being very in a place of, sh of shamanic, like you're very shamanic. You're very, yes, it's kind of like, you, I'm almost seeing you looking at the world upside down. And the world thinks you're weird and you're like, oh no, this is normal for me. You know, they're totally like, you think totally outside the box. Like, oh my gosh, whoever I'm speaking to is totally like eccentric. I love it. You coming out of this 10 of swords, this being the 10 of swords now in reverse, which is now you've turned this weight that was pinning you to the earth, you released it. You released the psychic weight and now the truth from the psychic weight is now supporting you in the underworld because you went into the underworld and did this work. You went into the underworld and understood 
these truths, what they were, why they had power over you, why they were pinning you to the earth. Now they, now they serve you. They show you how they were serving you because of the work that you did with them, whatever work that this was. And now you're manifesting from this knowledge. This brings you a sense of justice, an affirmation of justice, very clear mind. <clears throat> You know, you invoke because you are someone who knows yourself because of the depths you've had to go to. Oh God. Because of the social dynamics that you are in, because of the social dynamics around you, I'm feeling like a lot of people around you were very, very intimidated of you but they'll never tell you this. They'll never tell you. They're intimidated of you and they don't know why. There's something about your energy that intimidates people. Not scares them like you're gonna beat them up, but in a way like you see into them, you can see them. And it makes them uncomfortable because they can't, they're not even clear about themselves. You see, it's so true what I've learned at one of the courses I took, life-changing courses called The Mastery of Self-Expression in Vancouver. <clears throat> this course <clears throat> teaches that the world doesn't want you clear because the world isn't clear. People often have very foggy mind, foggy brain. Yeah. Okay, so you begin to manifest from this place. It brings you an affirmation of justice, very clear sight, new new power coming into you, new sovereignty, um, strength through the trouble, strength, you gain new strength through what you have gained within yourself through coming through this Ten of Swords. And no one can, can take this away from you. This is why it's an affirmation of justice because you had a great determination to overcome this. Because of this, you brought about a close of a cycle for yourself. This karmic cycle, whatever it is in the greater world, is still turning, but you brought yourself out of this. You removed yourself from a karmic cycle because of the work that you've done with this energy. You closed it out, you honored it, you honored the energy. You didn't fight it. You didn't turn it away. You didn't lock it up. You didn't like put it in a box and drop it in the bottom of the ocean. You never have to look at it. Like, no, 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 no. You faced it. You had, you had a conversation with it. You sat down for tea with it, symbolically speaking. Whatever it was, <clears throat> you went through your Ten of Swords. As the cycle closes, you are dealing with, you could be dealing with Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. One or, our, or our four, all four of these signs could be people that is that are in this fixed energy within this cycle. You have closed the cycle out and you now see you will not be at accepting further opportunities from this cycle. And I'm feeling no more opportunities will be coming to you. I'm feeling like the creator has tested you a lot with, you know, opportunities for you to go back and you didn't take them. You were so determined to honor yourself that you did not take these opportunities. Okay, what is the hanged man, creator? What is the hanged man? Yes, okay. Okay, perfect. Okay. Something happened in your life. You know, whatever this hanged man is, you did this... Like I said, 
I've seen you like The Hobbit. You did this. You went on this quest. You went on this um, inner journey to bring yourself a sense of justice because you were so unhappy. Maybe the people around you were unhappy. I don't know, but there was a great sense of unhappiness within someone. And you took the time to go through this work to bring justice. You went into the obstacles into the setbacks, into the energy. Yeah. Yes. Into this energy. Culminating the energy through going through the resistance. It's almost like you're, you're working out. When you go through resistance, what do you think weight lifting is? It's resistance because you're working against gravity. You know, so even flexing your muscles is a form of, is like a form of working out. You can just flex your muscles, you know, all by yourself. You can just stand there and flex your muscles. That's a, that'll be like a form of calisthenics in a way. But that's what I mean. Whatever you were doing to create, going through these obstacles, it was like spiritual calisthenics. You were developing your inner strength, your stamina, your inner power, your resilience on the earth plane. That would spill over into Queen of Cups energy beautiful 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 energy so you were really determined to heal beautiful what is the judgment in reverse creator the judgment in reverse taking that yes the judgment in reverse so the YouTube. YouTube won't like it. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so the judgment in reverse. So you were very, very disappointed because somebody that meant a lot to you, whether this is somebody that had Gemini energy or this is just somebody that with you had a sense of Gemini energy, like great lover's energy, refused to see a situation as it needed to be seen refused to face the facts that this they needed to be faced okay the cards are saying this person couldn't face the facts because they had not developed their spiritual in instinct they did not have instinct they had not developed their instinct even though this person really really loves you but them not seeing the facts as it needed to be seen, it's like, I'm sorry, love is not enough. Love is not enough. It's almost like I'm hearing you say, like, I needed you to see the truth and you wouldn't. I don't know what this is. But it'll, it'll be different for each of you, but whatever this was, Whatever truth or whatever dynamics, whatever facts weren't seen. Whatever facts weren't seen. So something happened to you or happened in your life and you needed this person to see you, this uh, lover's energy to see these facts and they wouldn't. And because they wouldn't, even though they, they love you and you love them, it was a tower. There was a tower energy and it's already happened. But this person feels a sense of, <clears throat> of going back to old ways 
and a sense of ongoing oppression. They feel trapped. They don't know how to get out of this energy. They don't know how to um, get out of this energy. Maybe they don't want to go. Maybe they don't want to. You know, it's so true. Psalm 91, he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We all dwell in the secret place of the Most High. If you're a thinking human being who is thinking, you know, try to listen to your inner voice. Listen to what it's saying. And you're going to hear yourself say, what inner voice? What is, he, what, is, what, what is she talking about? That inner voice. That's the inner voice I'm talking about. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Yes, okay, that's what I was going to say. This person, I don't think, is supposed to heal this. I think this person did not come to heal this, but came to stir these dynamics up in your life. And I'm thinking that it had to come from them. Because whatever this was really affected you. <clears throat> Maybe you're the one who's in a tower energy, a, a, the, the aftermath of a tower energy. <clears throat> What is the Six of Pentacles, Creator? What is the Six of Pentacles? So you have a sense of generosity because whatever you were carrying, you know, this judgment and reverse energy, this isn't a relationship with a person that to you is really toxic. This person could be a wonderful, great person to, the, to everybody else around them, but to you, they are not good for you, my dear. They are not good for you. As much as you want them to be, as much as you hope that they are, they're not. They're not, they're not, they're not. They, they may be a lovely human being on the planet. They may be the nicest person to the next person. But to you, they are not. Because what I'm seeing here is that the Six of Pentacles comes from a sense of great pain disaster even a sense of <sighs> tyranny disaster because of this 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 gemini person represents a certain power over your life a certain power over you it's a certain power that exists in the world and it's very subtle even though it's right in front of everybody. Can you hear that? And you're in your working through this energy, you come into the Six of Pentacles energy because you become aware of this. You become aware of this <coughs> destructive energy that is within this system of power in your life on the earth that you became aware of through your relationship with this uh, Gemini person in your life or a person that feels like a Gemini or maybe it's your own creative energies. Maybe it's not even anybody else. Maybe it's just you. Maybe it's just what you have unleashed onto this planet through yourself. you know now trying to and and all of us have that's what the birth chart is we all unleash um we're all like fire unmanned fire hoses trying to put out 
fires in our lives until we begin to awaken and grab onto that fire hose. And some fires we put out, some fires we let burn. Some, you know, like we no longer react. Now we're now in control of the of our own fire hose, and we can create, use that water to water gardens, you know, to clean, to wash. Doesn't have to be as such a destructive force in our lives and that's what I'm feeling that you have done and it changed your life and it brought you into new lands it brought you into brand new lands and I feel that you are no stranger to the life death life processes and that's why this uh, Knight of Wands is facing here For others of you, this Knight of Wands is somebody is a male, your your maybe your counterpart, a male counterpart, your spouse, maybe a lover. But they're also um, I feel like they may go through this process also. They may go through this process in their own way and you'll kind of, you'll both be going through this process together. You're, and I don't feel that you'll be intending to. I feel like you'll go through it in your own ways, at your own time. But one day down the road, you'll talk about it and, and you'll both be like, holy shit, I went through that too, babe. Why didn't you talk about it? And, you're, and you'll go, I don't know, I didn't know what to say. And all of a sudden you'll, wow, it's gonna bring you guys even closer together going to bring you even closer together and that's what I mean it'll bring you closer together yes whatever you have overcome whatever power you have come out from under in your life it's going to bring you closer to the people in your life through the story through the story through your stories your collective stories of overcoming this energy in yourselves leaving behind the Shire. You've all now, you're all a bunch of hobbits, <laughs> collective hobbits gathered around the fire. You've all have individual Shires you've left behind. And you're, you are going in search for truth. You're going to protect the legacy your own legacy you're going to protect the legacy your legacy your family's legacy some sort of legacy this is why you're on this mission yes okay yes mm. beautiful okay so the three of cups energy the first card out the end of a cycle the Sphinx on top of the cycle with the with the devil energy underneath. So you over you being completed with a cycle. In touch with your power now. In touch with your power. The Sphinx is an occult symbol of power. That you have. You're very independent. Whatever cycles you have overcome, you are very independent. Not a lot of people can match you. Not a lot of people can match you. <clears throat> Stand eye to eye to you. New deck. Okay, new deck. The Three of Cups creator. What is the Three of Cups? Yeah, you're very, very independent, but you're still, yes, okay, there's the paradox. There's the paradox. How can we be independent while being with people? Very, very simple. We're always alone inside of our bodies, even though, even when we're around others, even when we're with our friends, even when we're with our families, even when we're at a family turkey dinner, or at a family gathering, or Christmas morning, or someone's birthday party, where you're alone inside your body. You're alone while you are with others. 
There's the paradox. There's the language of the soul. It's irrational and it's not meant to make sense. So don't bother trying to make it make sense because it won't. <laughs> You just have to hold the tension in yourself. And when you release that tension, the only thing that will have changed is you. <laughs> but that paradox will remain. <laughs> okay? Okay, here we go. What is the Three of Cups, Creator? What is the Three of Cups? The Three of Cups. The Three of Cups. Yeah, not only are you independent, but you proved everybody wrong. And you proving everybody wrong is a tower in itself. Oh my God. Oh, you guys. Because what this means is that the people... Okay, 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 okay. I'm hearing Alan Watts. Okay. Your gift in your life is self-doubt. That's your gift. The reason why this is a gift is because self-doubt compels us to check in with ourselves every 10 steps. Every 10 steps as we're walking along a journey toward a destination, we check in with ourselves. and Are we going in the right way? Is this the right direction? Do I still want to do this? Does it still feel right? Does it still feel like I'm going in the right direction? Yes, yes. Okay, good. Every 10 steps, you check in with yourself because you're not quite sure. There's that little foundation within you that's like, ah, oh, you better go better, you know, go double check, go make sure. Because swing over to, the, to its opposite. Swing over to its opposite. You've got people who thought they knew you. They thought they knew you. You have changed your life. Whatever you have done, you have visibly changed your life. Whether you have... <sighs> I'm getting somebody got really muscular. Somebody maybe, you know, what some extra pounds on them. And all, like around the middle. And boom, now they're like, you know, now they're like, you know, could be competing for like Mr. Universe. Or Mr. Olympia or something like that, you know. Somebody getting very fit, very in shape. Somebody very educated, getting completely educated. Somebody changing their lives. Maybe somebody starting up a YouTube channel. Maybe somebody answering a call with the, within themselves. Maybe somebody getting married. Maybe somebody having a baby and how that baby changed their entire life. Becoming a parent, be, becoming a mother, becoming a father. Changed your entire life in ways you never thought it would, in ways you never thought possible. Yes. So that's what I'm seeing here is that you have changed. You have done something that has shifted your life permanently and it has, you are filling a role now. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you have become, whatever you have become, you are filling roles, role, uh, one role and several roles, multiple roles, that, nobody, that, 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 that the people around you didn't think that you could ever fill, that the people around you didn't think you would ever reach for, that you would ever move towards. And here you are. What is the magician, creator? What is the magician? What is the magician?
Okay, that's better. I'm trying to get a little drink of water. Okay. So the magician energy. Someone is, I don't feel this is you. I'm feeling like somebody, this is someone's reaction of you. In some ways also I'm feeling this is righteous anger in some ways. In some ways. In other ways, <clears throat> you manifest in your life. An ex is very angry. This could be an ex. This could be an ex family member, ex lover, ex spouse, ex whatever, ex ex coworker. But somebody, an ex, is looking back at you. Is very angry because of the power that you were demonstrating. They didn't know who you were, and that's what I mean. Somebody is going into self imprisonment, self victimization, because you have come out of a cycle that nobody thought that you would come out of. You have reached for a role and for energy and you are now fulfilling this energy. You are employing it. You are fulfilling this role. You are, they're saying inhabiting. You are inhabiting this space in a way that whoever's looking at you, whoever this is, knew, knows that they cannot you are inhabiting this space in a way that this person knows that they could never. <clears throat> Somebody is angry. They're also vexed, very vexed. They're avoiding you. They're intimidated as fuck of you because they know they're, that they're full of shit and they know that you mean it. They're doing this for clout and for show. You're doing this because this is your life. This has been your life. Well, this is whatever this is. I don't know what this is, but I'm getting whatever work that you've been doing. This is work that has been the work over the course of your entire life that affects directly your life. And whoever this person is, Whoever these people are, they kind of, it's almost like this is like their pet project. They come and go. It's like I'm getting privilege, entitlement and privilege. These people are avoiding you. They're intimidated as hell of you and they want to, they're, they're panicking. They want to slow you down because they're realizing that they fucked up. They're realizing they should have jumped on board with you. They should have jumped on board. They should have supported your cause. They should have listened to you. They should have respected you. They should have empowered you. You see, here you are. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, okay. Oh, my. oh creator, okay, slow down, slow down, slow down, okay. These people would refuse to empower you. They refused to acknowledge not only did they refuse to face the facts about the trauma that happened to you, but when you overcame this, they refused to acknowledge the power in you that you have to overcome what you've overcome. Now that you've overcome this, you're taking the knowledge you have, the wisdom you have, the generosity you have, you're giving it to other people around you. You're going to be giving it to other people around you. And these people... <clears throat> Uh, the creator kind of gave it to me in this way of like, these people would not empower you, but here you empowered yourself and now you're empowering others. And there's nothing these people can do. They cannot take this away from you. You did not, they didn't support you. These people didn't support you. They didn't support you. They didn't contribute to what, what you're doing. Therefore, they can't take this away from you. They can't be like, well, I forbid you for doing this because this is blah, 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 blah. You know, like this is, this is whatever you're doing is 100% you. Creator, what is the Ace of Swords? 
And that's what I'm feeling this end of the cycle is. What is the Ace of Swords, Creator? The Ace of Swords. What is this affirmation of justice? challenge, death, the magician in reverse, the nine of wands in reverse, and the white buffalo calf woman, the queen of pentacles. Wow, look at this. So this affirmation of justice has come because there's going to be, or there has been already, a challenge, a kind of a death, a challenge that you had to go through you either will go through this challenge or you've already gone through this challenge. Uh, the magician, the way you have manifested in the past won't work in this challenge. Uh, just a minute here. <clears throat> okay, very interesting. Okay, so what I'm saying, you're going to go through through a death. You're not going to be manifesting in the same way. I'm seeing you as the snake shedding its skin. Here is this snake now. Now going through these... Um, challenges ascending ascending it's going up the card you're ascending through these challenges a spirals spirals are when we put opposites together we get a spiral okay with you shedding your skin and developing your resilience it brings you into your peaceful energy you're very grounded very calm very compassionate, very peaceful, very loving, very chilled out energy. What is the for, what is the will? What is the world creator? What is the cycle that's come to a close? What is the world? Yes, okay. Nine of Cups, a lot of luxury, a lot of very a lot of happiness, a lot of satisfaction. The Six of Swords, you're able to tell yourself the truth. The parts of yourself that have been grounded within this cycle once you tell the truth and go through these uh, uh, challenges within yourself these little spirals are like inner forms of self-conflict inner conflict within yourselves within the swords and you projected these outwards but once you tell the truth about how you are keeping these conflicts alive they dissolve and you take flight. Dissolving and taking flight. In the meantime, you've been feeling very, very burdened. It's like you're building the strength to tell the truth. You're building the strength to tell the truth. Feeling very burdened. But also, look at, he's facing right toward the Six of Swords here, facing right toward them. You have a sense of joy about you and you're ready to, you're ready to do this. You're ready. Yes. In the process of, of uh, developing your High Priestess energy. So with you telling the truth about yourself means you're telling the truth about your short-sightedness. Understanding, like, yeah, I was short-sighted here. Yes, I acted totally premature there. I totally attacked the person, didn't even let them finish their sentence, you know, completely like, ah. You're becoming aware of what your mistakes were. 
where your own ignorance was and in understanding this this uh, high priestess energy comes upright because now these mistakes are no longer mistakes but actually refine your own trust within yourself help you understand the function behind mistakes mistakes are not mistakes they're quantum leaps they're quantum leaps unless you don't learn from them. Then they're just a mistake. But when you learn from them, they become a quantum leap because you will learn more from that one experience than, than years of taking work, workshops about personal growth. No, okay. What is the Ace of Pentacles in Reverse, Creator? What is the Ace of Pentacles in Reverse? The Ace of Pentacles in Reverse. The Ace of Pentacles in Reverse. Absolutely. So you have emptied out cups that you used to share with these people in your life. What you're going to be releasing yourself from is going to give you, release yourself more to having truth and like communion with yourself, with your soul and with people who are honest with themselves, people are, who are on the same page, who are on the same page resonance people who resonate with self-love you're very guarded you're very aware you've got your guardian energy up as and that's very wise you know don't be naive we are on the earth we are dealing with humanity you have to be wise when you're dealing with humanity you know, there's a lot of serpents out there that have not yet become doves. Okay, and with your guardian that's up, it's up because you have removed the sword from the stone. You see the sword in the stone? That's when you were in an inner prison. You were locked in a, a form of self-victimization, but you have removed yourself from this when you told the truth about your life released yourself and took flight now you have flight this truth now serves you you are healed you will go come into healing when it comes to the swords of your life that that shamed you that people have used these truths against you no one will ever do this to you in the same way again because you won't allow it Because you see the truth of it. It's a, it's a power play. It's like somebody... It's like why... Okay. Okay. Horse sense for people. Monty Roberts. He says he touches in, in, in the half hour session of join up. The little technique he does called join up. When they, when they bring into the ring a wild stallion that's never ever been ridden in his getting the horse's tr trust he will touch the horse like once the horse is comfortable with him near the horse and he's gone through the first 15 minutes or 10 minutes of the of the process of building the trust with the horse he's able to come closer and closer to the horse and the horse is beginning to trust him then he reaches down and he touches the horse's flanks on the front and on the back and then backs away and the horse is confused because, and I love what he says here. He says, the horse is confused. He says, I'm doing this because I'm showing trust. I'm showing the horse can trust me with its vulnerable areas. The reason why the horse is confused because instinctually the horse knows that no predator in the world 
will release the vulnerable areas of its prey once it has access to them. And this is what I'm meaning about you and exposing your vulnerabilities. People going in for, for the kill, people going in for the jugular, you being vulnerable is like a showing of the neck. And you have released yourself. This is beautiful, beautiful energy. You know what? I didn't show what's on the bottom of the deck for these cards. I just put them away. So let's see. The Three of Cups. So what was this energy here? You coming through and doing a lot of work. Somebody in your life that had betrayed you. You came through this energy. Very generous. You coming through this energy. It's kind of like a, yeah. But you coming through an energy to have intimacy with yourself. having intimacy with yourself, whoever's watching you and feeling a sense of regret is seeing you planting a new garden. They're watching you plant a new garden. And on the bottom of the deck for the last pile, the last row is the six of wands. So whoever's watching you, yeah, I'm feeling they're watching you because whoever this is is going now into an inner prison because they have judged you wrongly. They have judged you poorly. They prematurely judged you. This whole time I'm feeling like you were showing them your jugular the whole time and they would go in for the kill. They totally missed the point. They completely missed the point you were trying to offer them some sort of spiritual intimacy, meaning what is spiritual intimacy? It is into me see. Intimacy. Into me see. Can you hear that? And this person took it as weakness and judged you and thought they had the advantage over you because they saw you as weak, not realizing that you're the one that has the strength. This person cannot access these dimensions of self-truth and self-clarity and self-judgment and self-perception the way that you can. Oh, that's, are you kidding me? Oh, okay. The garden the, the creator is showing me that the inner realm, like, like up, when we say we pray up to God, we're actually up the language of the occult that a lot of people in the church, especially doesn't talk about is that up is actually in inward within you, within me inward and down like to, to, toward the devil and whatever else down is actually outward away from you <sighs> okay there was a message coming in there about that yes okay 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 the, what the creator is showing me thank you creator thank you for bringing that back what the creator was showing me with that message was that inwardly you have accessed the inward realms that is like the Garden of Eden. You remember how they talked about the swords that, that block the Garden of Eden and no one can enter in except for those with a pure heart. And I'm feeling like we all have to encounter our own swords to get into our own inner Garden of Eden. It is inescapably personal to each of us. 
but whoever this is cannot enter in because they don't want to tell the truth about themselves. They don't want to experience a sense of exposure. And they don't have to. They don't have to. They can, maybe they need to marinate in this energy. Maybe they're not done, you know. The tomb is the womb. The tomb is the womb. So when they're done marinating in whatever energies, I'm sure they will emerge as their own crystal out of the soil of their psyche, solid and clear. Or maybe they won't. Maybe they won't. Okay, I'm going to leave this reading here, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning into this reading. I hope that this reading was useful. I hope it is helpful. I hope that um, you guys can take this reading forward with you into your lives. And uh, yeah, you guys, you all take care. I love you all so very much. And I'll see you in the next reading. Alrighty.